This is going to show you how to correctly photograph a 2D artwork. So this is what your artwork should look like. Note that the lighting is even, the photo is cropped so you can't see any background, but none of the art is cut off. You can see all the edges of the letters. So tips to get a good shot. You're going to leave a little background when you take the photo. If you try to hold the camera just right to get rid of the background, then sometimes you accidentally cut out the art. So again, you leave a little background when you take the photo. However, then you're going to edit the photo on your phone or your computer to crop out the background, or you can crop it directly in school slides. Take it during the day. It's best to take it near a window that doesn't have direct sunlight coming right through. Taking it at night means that you're going to end up having to use a strange angle to avoid the shadow from your phone um, or camera and your hand just because of the way that lighting works. Make sure there are no shadows over your artwork. The lighting should be totally even and hold the camera totally parallel, so straight above the artwork and directly in the middle of the artwork. So now I'm going to show a bunch of examples of what your art should not look like when you turn it in. So for this one, there's one a ton of background showing. So we can see tons of a floor here. And two, the art is crooked. It's not perfectly straight up and down. For this one, there is still some background showing, not as much, but the photo was taken at a low angle. So the paper looks very wide on the bottom compared to the top that looks a lot skinnier, even though it's a perfectly rectangular piece of paper. So this distance right here should appear to be the same as this distance right here. For this one, there's no background showing, so that's good. But there are two mistakes. Obviously, the lighting is not even at all. There's a big old shadow running straight through the middle of it. And we have a little bit of the Y cut off here and the F cut off here. So a little bit of the art got cut off. This one, again, there's background showing. And the art is crooked because it was held up. Sometimes people will hold their pictures up to not get shadows. But again, if you have it next to a window, then you're not going to get a shadow during the day. Um, thinner paper is not going to stay up straight when you're holding it. So you're going to get a little bit of a curve. You can see a curve on the side of the paper. And then obviously you can also see the hand in it. This one is well cropped. There's no extra background showing. There's no art cut off. It's taken from above, so there are no strange angles. This length is the same as this length, so that's good. However, you can see there's a hand right here and there's a phone right here. It's not a super harsh shadow, but it's still a shadow and it's still distracting from the artwork. So this means that this piece of paper was put directly under a light source. Um, so like an overhead lamp or something. And then, so the phone goes in between the artwork and the lamp. And so that's what creates this shadow. So remember when you are done, your artwork should look something like this.